While most beef cattle farms have a 90-day calving season, we're having around 10 calves a day. So uh... at Ames Plantation, an historic farm that partners with the University of Tennessee Institute of Agriculture, the cows deliver their calves within a 30 to 45-day window. It's a lot of work in a short period of time but it pays off in dividends at the end. And that's what Rick Carlisle, the director at Ames, has spent a career finding solutions for Tennessee cattle farmers. While it may not seem obvious, Carlisle says shrinking the calving season is one of those solutions, improving the health of the herd and the efficiency of the farm. When you have a three-month calving season, the guys were spending a lot of time checking cattle and uh, there are other things to be done with the beef cattle herd, with the pastures, with the forage, with the fencing. So um, we decided to tighten it up. So just how did researchers get so many moms on the same page? It all started back in December. Um, started in with a uh, breeding protocol. Using biotechnology, herd breeding is now synchronized and performed artificially. The farm bulls are now plan B. Precision and accuracy is where we are today. Carlisle says the precision breeding has led to improved herd health. Just like humans, expecting cows have special nutritional needs that can be better met when all are in the same stage of production. He also touts the marketability of calves born in a shorter time frame. When you look at the calves that are produced, we have the most uniform set of calves that, uh, that any uh, buyer is looking for. And, you know, eventually that's what you're raising cattle for is, is for the consumer. While 45 day calving season may not be for every producer, the research here at Ames at least highlights the possibilities of using biotechnology in beef cattle production. An historic farm preparing for the future of agriculture. We're on the cutting edge and uh, other producers are looking at us to see how the cattle respond, see how the, uh, the human aspect responds and see what the bottom line responds. In Grand Junction, Ginger Rousey.